I'm here alone with uh, Dr. Neil Fleschner, who is a professor and chairman of urology at the University of Toronto. He's also a uro-oncologist at the Princess Margaret Cancer Center in Toronto. And you're also the PI of our first phase one clinical trial in, in Toronto. So we've treated a few patients now with our P18 system. Uh, what's your impression so far? Well, I've been very impressed. I've been very impressed, first of all, on the toxicity side, where we now have no patient with uh, any significant uh, catastrophic toxicities. And secondly, based on the efficacy side, looking at both the imaging and the PSA responses, certainly uh, at the last dose that we treated, we've had amazing uh, tissue destruction. Uh, so those two factors uh, lead me to have great promise for this uh, technology. What's your impression of this device compared to other other devices? Right, so the, the space you know does have some competitors. There's brachytherapy, there's cryotherapy, there's high intensity focused ultrasound. And again, I, what I really impresses me of this technology is the fact that you can adjust it in real time based on the, uh, the placement of the fibers. So it's not a fixed plan, and that sort of uh, virtual feedback and adjustment on the go, in my view, is a distinct advantage of this technology. But the, the trend right now is towards uh, treating focal therapy versus whole gland therapy. What's your opinion on that? Right, I think focal therapy is here to stay. And I think, again, if you look at that space, uh, if you look at the modalities around focal therapy, uh, again, cryotherapy or even brachytherapy, I think this particular uh, system really has a great promise. Uh, given the degree of tissue destruction that we're seeing on the MRI in particular, that degree of destruction I think may make this ideal as a focal therapy um, sort of platform, particularly because we can again adjust the plan and target perhaps one area, one quadrant or even half of a prostate uh, depending of course on the biopsy results. So there's quite a lot of positive impact on this. What, what other indications would you like uh, SpectraCure as a company to pursue? Right, I think again the concept of using a light activated molecule to heat or destroy tissue is really the future of surgery, this combination of imaging and energy and uh, of course in my field as a urologist certainly kidney cancer comes to mind uh, but even as a general surgical oncologist certainly one could think of tumors in the liver, tumors in the pancreas, anytime there's a solid organ that's got uh, cancer uh, in it, as long as we can image it and we can get fibers into it, then this may be a, a futuristic opportunity, uh, again, as a platform to treat a, a multitude of tumors. Well, it was nice having you here. Do you have any, any final remarks on? Well, it's great to be here, and I'm, again, very excited for, for SpectraCure and, and more important for the patients, hopefully, uh, who will benefit from this technology in the future. Okay. Thank you very much, Thank you very Dr. Neil Fleschner. Thank you. Thank you.